everybody. I'm going to show you how to install GeForce on Linux. And we're going to actually uh, build it from source, uh, although I am on Ubuntu. And so I guess the first thing I would recommend doing is just searching your distribution that you're on. Uh, if you're on Manjaro, you can just search Arch as well, but uh, and just search GeForce and see if you can find it in a package manager that your distribution uses. And I would suggest just doing it that way. Uh, on Ubuntu, I can actually just do um, uh, sudo apt install geforth. And I can just install geforth uh, like that. And you can see I already have it installed there, but uh, that's how I would suggest trying it first. But if you're on a distribution where you, know, you don't have that option, here's what, here's how you do it from source. So um, just search GeForth and find uh, the GNU.org website. And then you'll see this current release link. And it's probably going to be 0 0.7.3 because it's been that way for a long time. Uh, it's not a super actively developed thing anymore, I don't think. But uh, anyway. Um, so just you know, get that wherever in a folder where you're, where you can uh, find it, and then um, so that's a tar uh, file that has been zipped as a GZ file. So let's uh, go to that directory. We're gonna cd to the directory where that's at, and then um, so you can see it there: gforth-073 tar.gz. And then, uh, so to untar it, we'll do this. Uh, so this is just means my home directory. So the downloads folder in my home directory, and the file and then uh, where we want to put it. So, should be a folder in the directory now. Yep, without the tar and the gz on it. So, now with that, um, we're gonna go into that folder. Let's see, make sure I'm getting that down right here. CD G4 0.7.3. And when we're in that folder, um, so if you look in the folder, um, you should see, yeah, there's some make files and stuff. Basically, that means good. We can, where was that? There's a make file there, make file, make file. Uh, that means we can compile it from uh, like a, with a compiler, like a C compiler typically. Um, so, sudo configure uh, dot slash configure. Okay, so that's configured. And then just do sudo make install. And we'll go through, you might see a couple little errors um, just because it is, you know, it's an old program and stuff, but it should typically work. So um, to run it, to make sure it works, just do G4. There it is. Buy to exit. Now, worse comes to worse, if that doesn't work for you, um, and you don't have a package manager that you can get it from, you can always try, like, REPL it. Uh, and if you just do a new REPL, you can see that there is an option here for fourth. And here's where you would, oh, okay, then you, so you give it a name, sure. And then this is where you would put your code, like it's a file. But then here's a command line right here, and I believe, yeah, you can type right in the, command line. So, uh, see what's on the stack. Nothing. Let's, let's try just putting something on the stack. Okay. All right. Yep. So that works. Um, so hope that works. If you're on Ubuntu or something, just use the package manager. That's probably the best way to do it, but otherwise you can compile it from source. So thanks for watching and, uh, stay or stick around for the, the course.